Good afternoon. The first item of business is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is Reverend Moira Macdonald, Minister of Kirstorfen Old Parish Church. Thank you. I wonder, do you like cheese toasties? Scientists have said that the reason that cheese toasties in particular make such a satisfying snack is because together, cheese and bread bring just the right amount of salt, sugar and carbohydrates to provide a warm, satisfying and easily made, if not very healthy, meal. White bread and orange cheese melted together, the warm cheese oozing against the crispy toasted bread, impossible to eat without getting grease down your chin or crumbs down your front. The humble, the unexpected, the easily overlooked, all coming together to make just the right scientific and gastronomic combination. The reason I ask about your toasty preferences is because every Thursday during school term time, churches in Kerstorfen join together to make and serve toasties to pupils from Craigmount High School. We called it, after a lot of thought, Toasty Thursday. In the space of two and a half years, we've gone from a standing start of 50 pupils to now welcoming nearly 300 pupils over two sittings every week. It's a highlight of the week for many people. For the pupils who enjoy the food, the fresh air and the break from school, for the staff at Craigmount who feel the busyness of the school easing a little as pupils disappear to the church hall. For the parents who normally provide packed lunches but find they don't need to on Thursdays, although they do have to find two pounds from down the back of the sofa. For the toasty makers and servers, the volunteers who have bonded over the challenges of serving 300 teenagers and discovered friendships and possibilities in the process. Friendships and possibilities that are reflected in the relationships formed between the pupils and the volunteers. In the relationship between the churches and the school and with our local shops and supermarkets where we buy the supplies. And as we borrowed the idea of Toasty Thursday from our colleagues on the south side of Edinburgh, so other churches have asked us for advice as they've set up something similar in their own part of the presbytery. There have been a few logistical hiccups along the way, occasional moments of drama when the toasty machines have blown the church hall fuses or the supermarket has run out of cookies but nothing that we haven't been able to cope with. The combination of unexpected ingredients, teenagers, shopkeepers, school teachers, volunteers, ministers, have all come together and good things have developed. Who would have thought all of that could have come from the humble cheese toasty? Thank you. Thank you, Reverend.